This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar here with uh, an, an episode of Let's Finish This. Welcome back to Hellpoint, a, a game that came out, I think, in like two, 2020, which is a sci fi version of. Well, I don't want to. I, I keep, you know, trying to stay away from saying souls like and all that, but it, it definitely has the 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 feel of that from the way it plays. Um, um, if you haven't already watched the Let's Finish This, I did like the very first area of the game. But at this point, we're doing the um, we're doing the final little bits of the game. It's been about roughly about a week on this, uh, not straight, obviously, but just every day, putting in a couple hours and stuff like that since I played. I can't tell you how many hours I've actually put into the game overall. But usually, many souls like I'll spend like many of hour just like running around, exploring everything, trying to find as much much of the stuff as I can. I feel like I've found about I'd say maybe like seventy five percent of everything in the game. I'm probably missing like a few treasures here and there, um, stuff like that. But I tried to collect most of what I could do in a first run. Um, the only the only spoiler I have is for the um, final area of the game, because um, I at least wanted to know like when I should start recording for the finale without spoiling myself too much. Um, this is the current armor build I'm using. You could use anything. The usually like like I do for first time play, I tend to uh, uh, stick to. Uh, uh, strength builds for the first time you play through a game and then you have others um, stat wise as it shows there I think there's a yeah there's a thing there uh, suggestions yeah the heart is your health energy is used for now the cool thing about this game is it has two different bars it has like well and I guess souls games have this too the MP bar um, the way they use MP in this game is energy points so you use this for anything from like catalysts to guns and stuff like that which is pretty cool um, so that way you're not like just shooting a gun like all the time like you realistically would you have to use uh, energy to do it as you can see on my stats I'm not I didn't do a very heavy uh, energy build I did mainly um, HP and SP you know some low to uh, <laughs> load uh, to hold all the armor although at, after a point in the game I kind of stopped wearing super heavy armor so the load kind of was a little over the top as you can see there but yeah, stamina, load, strength for strength weapons, re reflex for dexterity based weapons, cognition for basically guns, and foresight, which is where you use catalysts, you know, almost like magic, almost. Defense is your type of defense and uh, reduction, tenacity is how, how, many, how, how long you can keep attacking before you get like kind of a knocked off your butt. Um, this probably isn't the highest tenacity build, um, but unfortunately the way I built, I can't use quite a bit of the... All those in red are are things I can't use efficiently. So yeah, you can tell like by, I guess probably maybe the more efficient builds are one where you kind of mix up a combination of strength and reflex and or cognition or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, there's uh, quite a few different things I could wear, but I, I kind of like the Sentinel build anyway. The Sentinel is based off one of the monsters you run across. Uh, well, monsters. Um, I don't know if I could really use monster for sci-fi, but, you know, um, the entities that you come across. Now, obviously, as a, let's finish this, this is going to be a spoiler, um, obviously a spoiler episode because, you know, we've already carried most of the stuff through the game. For the most part, you're like a spawn that was created by this uh, entity called the, uh, the um, Architect, I believe. Uh, I hope I'm remembering correctly. But anyway, he wants you to gather data on what's been going on in, in the uh, Nova Iridia or, or Irida Nova or whatever the place we're at. And basically the point of the game is to collect data and get to 100% so you can get to the final area of the game. Um, you can Every time you kill like creatures or find unique messages or anything like that, it improves your, your data collecting. Um, the big way to beat the game is obvious uh, to get to 100% is basically beating all the major bosses of the game. Each of them give you like 33.33% of your data. So you could skip a good deal of the game and as long as you can beat the bosses or the, the big bads. Um, in this game, they're gods for the mo uh, most part. But if you can beat them, you can uh, basically get to the end of the game. Obviously, if you want the true ending, you have to like explore this place and everything. Um, from what I heard, there's like five endings to the game. Um, and obviously there's a, for what I understand, there's a true ending, which I think I might have done enough to unlock that by just running around taking forever on that. Um, oh yeah, this is how you can, like in Souls games or any other game, there's a way to talk to players and this is how you can put your 
handprint on the wall and you can read it. Um, and like most, and like most games, you can't like straight up tell people what you want. You have to use symbols and stuff like that. I never really messed with that in the game. Although there were a few people who were pointed out um, a lot of the secret doors. Although most of the secret doors are pretty obvious in this game, weirdly enough, the way that they're shaped and marked or whatever. So I think we're good for this build. I think for this guy, I could be. I mean, obviously I haven't fought in him yet, so. Um, yeah, I, 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 at the beginning of the game, I was using a shield, but at some point, I think because of the way I built my character or whatever, I stopped using a shield and just decided to carry something else to get extra damage or, or something like the, the demon cannon here does induction damage, which is basically fire damage, which has helped on a good deal of creatures. Obviously in the game, you have to, you, you probably need a couple of different ones of these to, to, uh, take advantage of like different characters weaknesses. There was a boss I fought that was actually weak to this which really helped Although I wrecked him even without the fire damage. So I don't know I might be a bit overloaded for this because this game Overall isn't that hard at, weirdly enough. I mean you can make the game harder But I'm just talking about it as a standard player who's played souls games before I Wasn't really challenged for most of this part the the thing that challenged me the most of this game was the freaking platforming um yeah, this is the sword I'm using. Yeah, there's a I, I found a, a code for the Kickstarter stuff that uh, was released when the game came out because uh, I guess this was a Kickstarter uh, game and uh, and I used that to get the weapon. I mean, if you're if you didn't get this or don't have the code, you could use like the column to get basically the same results. Uh, just the Kickstarter link, a spot in, is a lighter, heavy weapon or whatever, but a column would work as well. All right, let's fight. Uh, I think his name was like Aspen in the Ashes or something like that. Let's see if I either defeat him really easily or if he beats my butt. Uh, all no stash and born. Okay. I assume he's strong against uh, um, induction, but we'll find out here in a second. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of resistant to that because uh, um, he didn't catch on fire or whatever. He does decent damage already. Uh, and he's not getting wrecked like the last guy I fought. I uh, forgot the guy's name. He was like um, the undisturbed or whatever. And I did like... One of my sword strikes does like a ton of damage. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we'll keep. I probably the demon callus is probably not very good here, just because it looks like he's kind of resistant to fire. So maybe he's like weak to entropy or something like that. Yeah, the problem with this weapon is it's pretty much strict. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of like a. Oh yeah, he's. Maybe I should have equipped it induction redu reducing armor because of a. Yeah, I see he's caught me on fire. Uh, you're doing some Oshiras shit or whatever for my guns. I'm waiting to see what he does. Okay, so he summons boulders. Now, the difficult thing about this weapon I'm using is that technically it should be kind of difficult to use because of the um, the way that the arc is. You're supposed to, like, when you use it, it's supposed to prevent you from um, moving, but if you dodge, like, right in the middle of the end of the swing, um, you can dodge out of the way. Usually... Oh, ouch. Yeah, if I end up dying to this guy, which I might, because uh, I'm not doing as much damage as I would have liked. Yeah, see. And I'm not wearing. I don't. I don't have the armor, and I don't have really good induction right now. I didn't. I wasn't sure what his strengths or weaknesses are, because like I said, I'm not. I didn't research the actual like bosses, like how to fight them, because I want to obviously do it pre um, pre whatever. I just have to be careful they didn't step on me. Um, I guess one of the main challenges for this game would be um, healing properties, because the way you get healing in this game is based off of... Uh, I assume, yeah, I assume he... Oh, I wonder if I can... If I have to avoid those now. That'd probably cause fire damage. On my life. But, uh, I guess it didn't seem to do anything when I stepped on it. Yeah, I gotta be a bit more aggressive with him. Otherwise, it's gonna take forever to beat this fight. Yep. I hope he caught me on fire by just running into it. Yeah, if I end up losing, I'll probably end up just uh, changing out my armor set to something that's higher resistant to uh, induction. So that way I'm not taking as much damage. But yeah, in this game, one of the, I guess one of the challenging points would be the the way to heal. Because the way you heal is you have to build up your like healing gauge. Um, and you build that up by hitting dudes, basically, and making them bleed. For all intents and purposes. Uh, some of uh, yeah, good thing I have a decent amount of uh, stamina, otherwise, this would, using this weapon would be kind of a bit of a pain. Yeah, too bad I don't have the 
don't have the time to swap out my armor mid fight. I mean, I could if I was really, really fast about it. But the problem is, this is game doesn't have like a sort function, so you can't like or a save a favorites function if that makes sense. Uh, so you can like save your favorite gear and just click on it when you want to. No, this game doesn't have that. I th I think this game is good to a point, but it is definitely bogged down by like a lot of major like little issues like glitches bugs and stuff like that like like for example the the jumping mechanic or the platforming is it's not the worst i've seen by far but man i had the most frustration in this game based on platforming specifically yeah i don't want to keep attacking just in case i think we've seen all of his attacks i think we're pretty much gravy for the rest of it as long as I don't uh, screw up too badly. Like I said, because he does induction, there's a high chance of me catching on fire and uh, and like losing a lot of life because my induction rating is too high. So here he goes again. Uh -oh. I don't know. I think you have to be standing in it for too long for these like fire veins to to hurt you. I think. I think when you cast that like attack or whatever. Um, Yeah, just, oh, he got. No, I'm probably dead. He's probably gonna smash me down and do like a. Okay. Yeah. See. See like all these little like glitches and everything like that. Um, <laughs> I thought that would do more damage to me. Like that grab did like no damage. Maybe it's supposed to do more damage, or maybe I got lucky or something. I mean, he did damage to me. It's just I should better heal just in case he doesn't. Like I, I screw up again or something. Like that. I mean, this guy is intimidating, so it's just... He must have, like, really high physical resistance or something. I don't know what he's... I don't... I think I think it's just if you're in those lava veins when he does that, like, little spread thing. I think that's when it does damage or something like that because... I don't know. I don't see an obvious effect from standing it. Maybe I'm more receptive to fire damage if I'm... Um... In this form, maybe, or when, when those things are around, or if I get hit by it. Yeah, see that little fire. I, I, there is a symbol that appears on me when I step in his fire. So maybe that is what it is. Maybe it's just it's easier for me to catch on fire, or I take more damage from fire attacks. Or something. Yeah, I probably should have beaten this guy already. I've been uh, kind of dicking around a bit too much. But in Souls games, you know, you kind of just have to be careful about. Letting, uh, letting yourself get too uh, um, too uh, cautious, if that means, or not cautious, a little, a little too. Unless your build is like really prepared for something like that. Yeah, I think I got hit by that fire, whatever symbol is. I don't know what that actually means. Um, I could probably look it up if I really wanted to. I think what that is. I just assume it's fire. Um, like you'll catch fire more often if you have that effect on you. Oh. Well, maybe I did because it looked like my uh, I caught fire for a second. I almost got him. Now, obviously, I assume this is one of those bosses you don't want to have. You don't want to be too. Uh, let's just finish him on that. Yeah, see, this is what happens when the one time I let myself uh, keep going, I almost get killed. Oh, this is the architect talking. I assume I gave you life, but no, sorry. It is safe where I am, and the project needs you. You need me to make sense of all this. Please come to the embassy. Yeah, it's because I've hit Ori, hit above 100, um, 100%, so now we can go to the end of the game. However, we got one more boss to go through before we call it that, so let's activate this and go to the final boss, uh, the three-headed clown boss. Actually, I don't even know what... Uh, I forgot what he's actually called, but... Now let's go to Port Isidun and do that. I think this guy, from where what I'm fighting here, I probably need either... I think I probably need entropy armor, so I'm probably going to look and see. I could wear the spacesuit. There's a spacesuit you can get, get that gives pretty good um, protection. It's just very heavy, and since I've got the load capabilities, I'll probably want to equip that just in case. And probably something with high defense. But uh, but yeah, this boss was yeah induction, which is fire, and then the previous boss was... that I fought the one I wrecked really badly was radiation. But I was wearing the Enviro suit at the time when I fought him, so... But he didn't have much... He must have, like, little to no physical resistance, because every time I hit him with a sword, like, I swear I did, like, 
like 15 or 20 percent damage to him every time I hit him with that weapon. So, uh, do I have any good entropy resistant? Actually, the armor I have might be the best that I can actually physically wear. Let's see. I don't know the yeah, the, heart, the, uh, the that's probably why the helmets are so heavy because they give you a high resistance to everything and they just have a lot of weight. So yeah, we'll wear the bad guy. Um, well, at least it looks like bad guy. Uh, like, uh, let me so let me turn on the light. I don't know if you can really see me very well in this light. This isn't very the oh, that's creepy. But yeah, if you move your face enough, you um, there's like a clean version of the suit, but I think this one is a little bit more durable, I believe. Um, we'll leave the same. Yeah, you can tell I stopped using the induction, the catalyst after a while because I'm like, yeah, this ain't working on him. So, oh well. Um, but yeah, the big thing about this game is that the architect created us to find data throughout this place to find out what is going on. And basically, what happened is that this port place created a massive AI that um, I guess pierced the black hole or something. I might be missing some details here because there is. Over the course of the game, you're supposed to... The, collecting the data does give you info about what's supposed to happen. But basically, you pierce something, and, and I think we, an event horizon kind of situation occurred, kind of like in the movie, where I think they pierced a section that released, like, all this corruption and so so-called demons appeared and stuff like that. And most of the people on the station are dead. There's a handful of uh, people still living that we run across, but most of them have become, like, husks that we have to kill. And then, you know, we fight those big godlike creatures over the course of the game. Uh, well, those, and then some minor bosses and stuff like that. So, let's see. Should I... Maybe I should kill some regular dudes really quick and build up my um, health just to make sure. Although, I only had like two or three health when I was fighting that one guy, and I did pretty good um, already. But, eh, you never know. I, I might need this for the final boss anyway. And what I've heard, the final boss can be a very uh, a couple of different things, depending on... Um, what you do at the very end of the game. Um, if you don't do much exploring, you pretty much have only, like, uh, from what I understand, you only have, like, two different ends if you just basically just play the game and don't do anything, like, crazy or specific. So, yeah, this place has, like, crazy... Has, I don't know, Frankenstein hands or something like that. Most of these guys, I can kill in one shot. Mainly because my weapon is at, like, a strength-modified weapon at almost... Well, not max. I don't know what max is in this game. Um, right now, it's, I think it's at 11. Oh, I, I can't be... I can't, uh... I can't really spend too much time unless I kill everyone here. What is it? A plus 11? Yeah, I don't know how high you can get that. Um, for what I understand, this game does have a new game plus mode. Uh, where you can keep playing. So, you could probably go up pretty high. Yeah, see, if induction works, as you can see, his, uh, that creature caught on fire. And it'll take a little bit of damage. Um... Although, realistically, the way I built this guy, uh, physically attacking him is the best way to go. This one, this build is almost kind of like a just take the hits and just kill them kind of build. Which, for the most part, works, sadly. That's kind of sad, like... Well, I mean, I guess any build should work if you built the game correctly. Three is pretty good. I might be able to go with three and that might be enough. And I'll earn enough from the boss from just hitting on him. If I don't do too badly. Um, but yeah, I guess any build could work if you if you do it right. It just seems kind of weird that a lot of encounters I could just just keep bashing them with the sword, and because the I guess the heavy weapons have enough, like they can break a lot of uh, creatures to nasties, except for maybe like the super big ones. It lets me just wail on them um, without them doing anything. Yeah, see, I can just wail on that guy, and he just he just took it, you know. Um, also, uh, weirdly enough to this game, um, unlike the other, like, Souls-like games that kind of copy this, if you go to a heal spot, it doesn't immediately restore, um, enemy placement, which is interesting, which overall makes the game a lot easier, too, because you can just run back to a, a safe spot, heal yourself, and they'll still be dead. Um, it seems to be based off the phases of the moon. If you look at the upper left corner there, the, uh, that little, um, like, map or whatever you want to call it, uh, that's phases of the moon. Um, that little yellow circle is where the moon's at currently. There's two. There's three. Fa basically, three phases you can you need to pay attention to when you're playing the game. There's the normal phase, which is where, where as it is right now. There's the horde phase. I forgot what they actually call the phase, but if it, the if the 
Um, if the time either reaches three or, or three o'clock or nine o'clock by basic standard time, um, then horde mode activates, and it just means certain enemies that normally aren't there might pop up, like lava demons, or certain areas in a in a in a section will become closed off, and you have to if you enter in them, you uh, encounter horde mode where you have to defeat all the monsters inside. And if you defeat them, you get a prize of some sort, either axioms, which is the money of the game, or the uh, currency. Or you get like some item or something like that, and then black hole, which is where if that yellow circle hits the the gray circle, like mini circle in the lower left corner, um, certain doors uh, will activate based off that. Um, as far as I'm aware of, I don't think anything else is based off the black hole other than special doors that have like unique items and stuff like that in them. So anyway, let's fight the clown guy. The reason I know this is a clown or a clown dude is because you can encounter this guy without being a boss. The first time through, um, and talk to him regularly and get a quest from him. Okay, I do okay amount of damage. Let's see if the induction or the callus does any damage to him. That looks like he catches him on fire, so it works. Yeah, see, I'm wrecking him now. I think if you hit a boss's weakness, I think it does like it does a, a conducive amount of damage. Cause yeah, he, oh whoa whoa whoa. Okay, he stepped on me, so don't let him step on you. <laughs> I think I got too close. Oh, he does a... Uh, oh, what's that? A... There's like an ability you can... Um, uh, there's an effect that can hit you where you basically um, suffer from like... I don't know what the word is. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't really have the best build for this. Um, for dealing with um, minor creatures like this. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I might actually die to this guy. Well then. That was, uh, this guy is definitely more of a challenge than I thought he would. Let's just keep up. Yeah, this guy's definitely a mover and shaker, that's for sure. Get some of that reduction damage on him. The way you heal it, or you get your energy back is it's it does the bloodborne mechanic where um, you need to basically keep physically attacking him um, to restore. There's probably an item you can do that does that um, as well. Um, got him. Oh, that was pretty good actually. Hello, Spawn. We uh, sorry. Please meet us at the top of the chain of the Risen's Palace. Oh, um, that is for and try not to die. Um, if you go to the top of the Risen's Palace, that is the um, the Union. The Union is a group of. Um, let me activate this first. That was actually more of a challenging fight, although I beat him quickly because I apparently in, he's re weak to re induction, or at least he was not resistant enough to where it affected him. Because yeah, it did. You could see all the damage that chicked off uh, off of it, plus whatever sword damage I was doing. Because I think when I hit him with my sword, I only did an okay amount of damage. But with the induction peeking out some of his uh, health, that really helped too. Uh, oh, and this takes you to another area, which we've already been to. But hey. let's see where this actually takes me. Oh, travel. well, that's actually where I need to go. So there you go. Um, yeah, I was actually kind of surprised. He was actually the more dangerous of the three. Because uh, the first one I just wrecked. Like, he almost did no damage to me. Probably because of the armor I was wearing. The second one did damage, but he was so slow that his patterns were easy to fix. The, that guy was actually a bit challenging because he was jumping all over the place. And he summoned all those hands to attack me. But because I had induction activated on him, it uh, didn't fare too well for him. Now, what the... Um, now, from what I understand, the Union... Well, actually, I guess I could go, go show the Union to see if I want to see what they want to say because I don't think that has to deal with the end of the game uh, but let's activate let's get to the embassy and activate the door or whatever yeah you see those little like creatures that were floating around my head they uh, I forgot what that uh, that effect is called but basically what it does it kind of warps your camera it kind of pulls it away and closes it in and stuff like that it kind of messes with the uh, your skis it's like you're cursed or something like that I, I don't know what the actual effect is called um, but uh, Oh, I, oh, that's how you open that door. Okay. I always thought, I was like, I know that's a door to something, but I wonder what that opens. Yeah. Okay, where... Okay, yeah, this... Yeah, for those who watched the first video, this is the very beginning of the game. <laughs> and you guys are easy. Easy peasy, Gary Steez. Oh, oh, and uh, the one funny thing about this game is the AI in this game is ridiculously, like, super aggressively stupid. So nine times out of ten, if you get the enemies right and you move them in a specific way... You can have them kill themselves um, by running off of stuff or whatever. Actually, I probably could get some more 
infusions out of myself. Let me see. Yeah, I can level myself up quite a bit now. Um, well, I could always use more health. I might give myself a bit more energy um, just to be able to shoot like one more time. Uh, do I want to do load? Probably not. What about, actually, what would, what would strength get me if I level up? That'd give me another couple of ticks of damage. That wouldn't be bad either. I think I might have enough health for the rest of the game. Same with stamina. Um, so I might be able to just try to max out my... Uh, or get a good deal of strength left. Mm. Yeah, let's let's tick that. Let's tick the strength boxes there. Actually, I think I have some Axiom I can still use as well. I kind of... I, I used most of it earlier off-screen. But a lot of times I'll like hoard my Axiom. Or in any game, like Souls or whatever, to the very end. And then just... Use it all before the final boss so I can like do any like last minute leveling without a grind and then do that. So did I get no no not for another level. Oh well. Alright, let's uh get to that. I need to go tell the architect what we're doing. But yeah, I could go uh go to the Arisen's Palace and talk to the Union and see what they want to say. The Union, from what I understand and what they told me is they're supposed to re be representatives of the rest of the the current government on this station as well as Earth. Wherever that is. Oh yeah, remember these guys that gave me so much trouble at the beginning of the game? Well, fuck you. <laughs> well, at least for those who watched the first play, I, I kept like trying to barely beat these guys every time. And it was kind of frustrating, but now they're just like easy peasy, Gary Teasy, you know. But that's like any game series, you know. And you just level up enough, and then boom. And this game does kind of have a back attack mechanic where if you uh, um, up oh, looks like they're. Well, not weak, particularly, say, but they are, they're not resistant to fire, because you can tell, because they caught fire. If they don't catch fire, then they're either resistant or highly resistant to it. But yeah, I beat that guy really easy, but that's the case of playing the game for like a week and figuring out the controls and everything like that. You know, you could be just like me. Um, yet overall, this whole game is basically a case of, oh, these guys have spawned in this area now. These guys weren't here before, by the way. I think over the course of the game, and I don't think it's based off the phase of movement, I think it's based off, like, creatures you fight and stuff that, like, some enemies will be added to other areas and stuff like that. Actually, let me go see what the, uh... Let me go see what the Union has to say. Um, because they wanted me to... Um... Yeah, I want to go to the Arisen Domain. They're the ones who wanted to, uh... were impressed by my progress... And they allowed me to encounter the boss and beat it. Um, but uh, I think you can only interact with them, uh, from what I read, is if you have 150% data. If you don't have that much, they won't contact you about... I guess maybe it's because you've... The data, I assume, is because you've figured out the truth, basically, for the for the end of the game. Um, so they're there to probably like tell you the truth or whatever. I have a pretty good idea what what happened for the most part, you know. But yeah, it's a typical, like, science kind of went too far. AI went a bit crazy, kind of like a Skynet type of situation. It's a combination of things, you know. But like I said, this game kind of reminds me of Event Horizon, the movie. I don't remember too much of that movie, I'll admit. It's been... Actually, I probably could have just teleported to the... the um, to where uh, the boss was, but... Uh, oh, well, too late now. Because uh, I think the boss automatically went a lot to teleport they could teleport straight there although what if you well we'll get to that when we get to that but yeah the uh, going to the union is not the the final area I'm just going there just to see like what they have to offer I might leave the suit on for the rest of the game because I'm not too slow in this form from what I've noticed it said my mobility was like 80% so and I've been roughly dodging most of the stuff the dodge seems to be pretty lenient for the most part. Um, like, as long as you dodge an attack, like, uh, you don't have to be, like, spot on, like, oh yeah, this is the room where we fought the one guy. He basically kind of represents kind of like a... He was uh, kind of acted like a Buddhist monk, so he didn't physically attack me, he attacked me with, like, a spirit. So, which was kind of odd. Hey, let me put this back on. Um, yeah, the Union's over, over here, just a group of people. They look like people I've been killing throughout the course of the game, but... Oh yeah, these are like underworld slabs. If you touch them, you go into the underworld version of a small section, and you fight um, all these entropy demon-like creatures. Um, and that's how you can talk to the bosses before you fight them. Is you go through here and talk to them, and they think you're like a worshiper. 
And if you do a quest for them, they'll give you an item. Unfortunately, all the items they gave me, I can't equip because I don't have... Most of their stuff requires high uh, foresight or cognition, and I I didn't play that build, so... <laughs> so I missed out on a lot of cool, like, magic or gun abilities, but no, oh well. That's fine. I'm so used to fantasy anyway, so let's see what they have to say. More. Welcome, Spawn. Oh, yeah, they have voice acting, sort of, but it's jar... It's jar well... It might not be gibberish. I, I have I have a feeling this might be based off like like some European language like Russian or, or something like that. Um, and they're just using maybe a garbled up version of it. I could be wrong. I mean, it just sounds like a national language that that I just don't understand. So thank you for responding for our invitation. You have surpassed every expectation we had for you. We want you to have this. The Legion answer. I think I already have one of those. We specialize in opportunities. We are taking great steps to solve the fundamental problems of humans and the arisen. It is so simple, so fundamental, yet so estranged with our nature that only a project like Irid Nova was capable capable of creating the solution necessary to solve this. We are going to further. We are going further than anyone has ever dared to go. Those before us were bound by fear or erroneous beliefs, which we are not. We were. We were basically designed to find this data and get it back to the architect. So we were given a lot more freedoms than most other people were. We call upon the great cosmic gods and summon them for communion. We can learn uh, from their word in exchange for a small sacrifice. Irid Novo is the perfect ceremonial ground. Never before has it been achieved so efficiently and so completely. They're talking about like, the demons and stuff like that. Uthos, Nemundus, Ozzy, those are the ones we defeated. They define our very existence, and now they're able, available to us. More, mere mortals for fruitful communion. Should you pass any of their tests, we can reset their communion as many times as you wish. All we require is one of their fragments. Now, do you wish to know the truth? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. The author is trying... Oh, maybe his name is the author. Sorry, I was kept calling the architect. There's a character called the architect you run across. The author is trying to understand free will and has been studying your every actions. So this is the most logical thing for him to do with his newly found power, to analyze deeply and collect meticulously each and every decision you and your peers are making. But we know we can do so much more. The author has tremendous processing power, and there's a way to connect him to infinity of a parallel versions of himself, just as is the case for you. He's very close to accomplishing exactly that. Can you imagine the possibilities of harnessing infinite processing power? Real lightning! I don't know. <laughs> I had a joke about that, but I forgot what it was. We can finally create a true concrete god, a deity entirely at our service, a god with whom we can... In Directly interact and whose infinite power can solve any of humanity's greatest plights through the simplest gesture of will. No more suffering, no more wars. Isn't that worthy of any sacrifice? Uh, what kind of sacrifice? <laughs> Some things should never be sacrificed. Wrong! Nothing is of greater value than power! You are the living proof of that tenant. Even power itself must sometimes be sacrificed for the greater good. The greater good. We are on the verge of even greater discoveries, and you are a key piece to solving this puzzle. We need the collaborations of the last architect. He wants to repair the ateliers in order to warp away from Irid Nova, which is death wish in any case, but he seems to ignore that. Once you have the AI patch conductor he's asking for in your possession, bring it to us. We will upgrade it with the global data from all the authors spawn. Too late, I already gave it to the architect. This will link the author with all the other parallel versions and complete the project. We believe you are the version of this able to achieve this. Find the architect, convince him to work for us, and bring us the patch conductor as soon as possible. Good luck. Good luck. I've already I've already done the architect quest, so yeah, I can't really do this. So, haha, <laughs> suck it. I guess one of the bad ends is indicated by helping the uh, union or whatever. Um. Anyway, let's go teleport. There's one other place I want to go before we go to the final bit, which might take me the last. 30 minutes to 40 minutes to be depending on how difficult he is. I've heard, I have heard the final, the true ending boss is actually kind of a pain to deal with, so I might have to grind out some um, um, HP. Actually, I might fill out the rest of my HP stocks as well. Um, first, let's go to the, let's see, I think it's, uh, I just have to, is it the workshop? I think it's the workshop I want to go to. Yeah, I think so. Um, I want to go to the blacksmith, and he has item bosses you get for, like, killing the bosses. He can make weapons out of it. And apparently you can make some stuff out of the final bosses if you play New Game Plus, because you, obviously you get the items you beat when you beat the game when you restart, and you can make items out of that. But uh, 
from what I understand. But I want to just collect the items of the gods I'm getting, so. And unfortunately, because of the way this game works, I don't think I can do, like, a reload to save and show you, like, the different endings of the game from what I understand. I think it's the way that the saving system works. Unlike when I did, uh, uh, the one with the werewolves or whatever. Um, where you could, I could have just loaded that save. Because this, the saving in this game is a bit differently than, because it, it's based off, like, certain, um, being connected and all this other stuff. I mean, I'll try to see if it works, but I really doubt it. Um, but I'll probably just do the one ending and kind of call it from that. You know, let's talk to the black blacksmith here. Ah, uh, so you found me. Now what? You will expute me here and now or take me away to be tortured. So which is it? Uh, yeah, you could kill me, he just doesn't resist, so I have no intention of murdering you. Oh, pardon me then. You must be one of those strange individuals that have been infringing on other people's property lately. Well, as for me, I'm dedicated to one thing and one alone. Cosmic Thurgy. I gather artifacts of the divine. I have little control over what happens next. I am an artisan tasked by the gods. Perhaps you can find some amusement for this? And then we can hand uh, over their fragments. The Uthios fragment, the Ozzy Ormi fragment, or the Nemundus. Uh, let me... Actually, let me show those off really quick before we do that. Yeah, unfortunately, the game has a weird thing about loading to the item menu or whatever. Uh, which menu is that? I think it's the next one. Oh, yeah, and there's, like, a lot of items I haven't really used. I haven't found most of the coins in the game. I think I think those are, I, I, from what I understand, that finding the coins are just an achievement. I think there's 66 in the game. I found a good deal of them, but, man, some of them are really easy to miss if you're not paying attention. They're, like, just a small, glowing... They don't even glow that brightly. They just... They, and some of the lighting in this game makes it, like easy to miss these things so but uh, I think there yeah I think there's a trophy based off finding all of them and that's pretty much it um oh yeah and this was based off a quest as well the air of chaos which deals uh, from what I understand deals with the true ending of the game um oh here it is uh fragment of Uthos the Ashborn a dusty piece of Uthos god of eternal suffering the oldest of all the cosmic deities Uthos has burrowed through the nerves of every living thing since the dawn of time, eternally crumbling to dust and being reborn from his own ashes through fire and flame. Through fire and flame, da 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 da. Or like a phoenix or whatever. Fragment of Oz, Ozzy Ormi Goja. A tender piece of Ozzy Ormi Goja, god of treacherousness and deceit. Cynical and jaded, he has locked himself in the lowest place, the place where all blood comes dripping down, and from there dispatches an endless army of idle hands to do his wicked bidding. So that's what they're called, idle hands. Um, fragment of Nemundus, the Undisturbed. A frozen piece of Nemundus, god of the underworld. The Undisturbed awaits anyone who falls before despair and nihilism under his influence and prepares a nice place for them in the world of darkness where he can eternally drain and corrupt their divine energy. Well, lovely. Wouldn't you want to work for people like that? And then just all this, like, random stuff I have as well. Anyway, let's give him the stuff too, see what he gives us. Yep. I have to be careful not to accidentally choose the I will kill you option. Oh, I don't know why he keeps resetting his dialogue even though we just talked to him, but whatever. Yeah, this game has like a weird glitches like that. I've had a few quest lines I had to, that got reset on me for some weird reason over the course of the game. So, yeah, this game's kind of weird. I think it had to do with like defeating a boss and not finishing a quest so it reset it or something. But anyway, now yeah, let's end up over the Uthos fragment. Mm, I can only imagine the suffering you must have gone through to acquire this. Or sorry. Let me see what I can do. Gives us the gavel. Okay. Why are you... We just talked to you, dude. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's give him the Ozzy, Ozzy Ormi fragment. Ugh, repulsive. This is not what I signed up for. Ah, give it here. Let me see what I can do. We get his hand. Ew! It was his J.O. hand. Sorry, folks, I didn't. <laughs> I, that was even crude even for me. Alright, yep, yep, yep. Alright, give him the Nemundus, Nemundus fragment. Oh, yes, a piece of the void itself. An impressive specimen. Let's see what I can do. We get his Oculus. I think that's a catalyst, if I recall. Let's look over the... I think they're all weapons. Um, Let's see... Uh, it, well, now the game doesn't, like, usually if I get an item, it's on the bottom here, but apparently it, uh, it moved it somewhere else. 
Uh, where are you? Oh, I guess it's not a uh, catalyst, huh? It's not, at least it's not showing up here anyway. Uh, it's not a shield. Is it an item I can equip then? Well, let's look at the main hand. Maybe it's here somewhere. Uh, oh, there's Uthos' gavel. A, sledge, a sledgehammer of judgment that condemns to misery anyone unfortunate enough to find themselves beneath its anvil. The god of suffering inflicts pain in unequal measure upon all living things. A sordid role that is as arbitrary as it is fundamental. It's definitely... What, what's it build, What's its build again? It's definitely... Ooh, uh, 18... But it needs high foresight to do it, and I don't have the foresight for that. Um, yeah, Tomahawk. You get this from a quest line as well. A guy called the Native. They talk. He's basically based off Native American uh, medicine men for the most part. Um, but he ends up being like, uh, he basically becomes ascended from his body and becomes one of the, like, the flying fish creatures that like cir uh, circle this black hole space station. Yeah, we're surrounding a black hole, by the way. Um, Ozzy's hand. Ew. The Lord of the Ninth Circle would be delighted at the idea of a servant slaughtering monsters using his own severed body parts. The hand just won't stay dead and the constant knuckle cracking is debilitating. Yeah, you need a uh, reflex and foresight to use this. Uh, oh, it is a standard weapon of sorts. Uh, ripped off the face of Namundus, god of the underworld, then reforged into a weapon of unholy power. The stretching optic nerve grant distance and swinging potential, making this abomination a ruthless weapon for crowd control. <laughs> this game does have like a weird sense of humor sometimes, uh, uh, whether intentionally or unintentionally. Probably not intentional. Because this is supposed to be kind of a whole science science possibly mixed with like s certain fantasy elements with the catalysts and all this other stuff i think it's just a form of science in this case like in some stories like it's magic until you understand the mechanics of it and then it becomes oh yeah the horde uh, mode is active right now as you can see on the little upper left hand corner there so okay so i need to oh there is one final area to go through anyway before we so i guess we can go back to the embassy um Oh yeah, there's the boss, the undisturbed Nemundus, Ozzy's pit, Uthos's Agora, and all that. So, um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. I I think I've completed most people's quest lines. The only reason I know that is because either they disappeared, or I got an achievement for doing some of theirs to begin, or a trophy for doing that in the first place. But yeah, I probably will need to in the final area if there's enemies to encounter. I'll have to save up. Oh no, I need to. Ah, I, I probably should have gone to the um, uh, um, the observatory so I can max out the rest of my items or whatnot. Because uh, I need I need to max out my health uh, injector. Uh, so yeah, before we. Oh yeah, there is remnants of the boss wall as you can see there. So at least I don't think there's a. There might be something for the final. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. I'm not. I I don't plan. I don't super plan out these. Uh, let's finish this. Uh, modes too much because I don't want to spoil too much about how the end of the game goes but uh, I probably could be a bit more efficient about what I'm doing here I guess what I could have done is I could have played the game multiple times to get to this but I kind of want to do this as kind of like a a uh, I don't think I have enough health or have enough axioms to uh, um, <clears throat> uh, to ma ma uh, max out my weapon anymore so oh yeah I don't need to heal you can just touch the thing to do that. All right. Yeah, there's a couple ways to heal in this game, but I've noticed just doing the standard healing injectors is the most efficient way of doing it. How many healing injectors did I have? Man, I had quite a few that I had been hoarding up over the time, huh? Oh yeah, and here in the game you can. I think one of the cool little things about this game is you can 3D print your weapons. I think that's kind of. I think that's kind of neat. Kind of reminds me of a. Um, Oh, what was that one game? It was about hacking. Although I didn't really like the... Actually, I didn't really like those games too much. They were okay, but... Um, the second game, you could 3D print your guns and stuff like that. But yeah, you can just... If you have the right materials, you can just... Um, you know, if you find the plans for them, you can make them. Or you find a certain suit of armor and you can upgrade it with the EVA suit here. This is how you can get to a certain restricted area... Well, not restricted, but certain areas of the game that require like radiation protection. Or oxygen protection. Um... Otherwise, you can't go to a certain section of the game without doing this, which I think you need to do to get to the... Well, actually, no, I think you can skip finding this and still get to all the bosses, because there is a couple of different ways to get to the same area in the game. But uh, it de it definitely helps you get some rare stuff if you find find the and fix the uh, EVA suit. Kind of like what I'm wearing now. 
Um, as you can tell, it works as a suit because in the upper right corner, there's an O symbol with a two that, you know, obviously oxygen. Um, okay, yeah, since there's a final area, I think I can, let's double check and see if I can, maybe I can upgrade the catalyst or something like that, even though I doubt the boss is weak to induction. But we'll see. You know, it's a little extra damage. I guess I could equip the shield. That would help with, like, reducing damage. It's one of those things where if you... Yeah, it's too much to upgrade the sword anymore. I need quite a bit. Uh, let's see if I can... Yeah, I can do the demon one a couple of times. Let's just do that. Give a... In, in, in true. If I had more cognition, this would, this would probably do more damage. But I don't want to... I don't want to put more into Cognition than I've already... Or or Foresight, I mean. I don't want to put any more into Foresight because that's not the build I'm using, so... Okay, let's go to the Embassy there. And interesting enough in this game, not as soon as you unlock like one of those um, the breaches or whatever they're called, um, it doesn't automatically make them a teleport option. You actually have to find an item called like a, a Breach Disruptor or whatever it is, and then it... Or I'll have to look it up again, but it basically allows you to connect the Breach to others... So that's kind of, I guess, one of the challenges of the game. So if you don't have enough of those, you can't just teleport between each place easily. Although if you do all the underground, underworld stuff and look around, you'll find plenty of breaches to basically get to wherever you want to go by the end of the game, for the most part. But anyway, let's uh, activate the final uh, area by interacting with the author. Yeah, he tells you after you find this, yeah, I stopped playing the game right before I found the computer here but this is when he gives you the plot basically so I stopped my first video right right before the plot was in, it was told to us so data requirements met granting access to the higher ateliers oh yeah there's a mission where you have to power up the high ateliers um, well done we can finally meet um, and this will be the final well dungeon I've heard this is a very a very long area because of like what it pretty much is. So I am, this is where I'm pretty much completely unaware of what I, what I need to do. Now right, we can get a melee conductor, even though I've already got one of those. If I end up not fighting anyone, I'll uh, maybe off screen go uh, grind up my health injectors to max so I can actually um, hit the high ateliers. Let's see, I'll try not to spend too much time looking around and get to the point. Now, oh, what's this? What? Oh, interact. There, inspect. Though chaos, we shape ourselves. Our gods are dead. Our cities are in decay. We must die so that the new man can rise from the ashes. He even gave me a little bit of percentage. I don't know what the max data coverage is in this game. Um, really, the only numbers I saw was over 150 is where you need to um, need to be. So maybe it's 200. But I don't know how you could get to 200. You probably have to find every single... Oh, yeah, synchronized breach, breach is what it's called. So we'll just do that just to save us some time. So. so I might not be running around through this area because I'm one of those that has to be kind of a bit... I have to look around first before I... Uh, or... Um, deny! <laughs> denied! Um... Well, I'll try not, to, like I said, I'll try not to spend too much time. I probably should have gotten here a little bit faster. Oh, here's a, oh, I could have done it here. Oh, well, whatever. I didn't know that, so. Researching axiom particles seems to yield surprise on a daily basis. I'm struggling to identify exactly where the possibilities approach their limit. I trust our investors will be very satisfied with these results. We're satisfied by your results, Captain. Yeah, it looks like there's dead, like, whoa. Game kind of, like, skipped for a second. Oh. Got new villains. I guess that was him summoning himself or something like that. Must be some uh, some of the demons or something like that. It looks like we can... I guess we have to... Oh. Hello. I assume you're probably resistant to... Uh, uh, oh, no, you're, you're catching on fire, so you're not resistant to this. It just looked like you were because you were red. I wonder if that's one of my spirits or something like that. This is a weird game when you die, your the ghost of your former shell um, comes back to, to like try to kill you again. So I guess that can be dangerous because the the ghost will have like whatever um, whatever you were equipped with. So it's almost more dangerous to be super like shielded out and all this other stuff before you fight him because you're like 
you're basically making it harder for yourself when you fight your ghost. Although you can ignore your ghost, but the problem is the ghost can sometimes um, just spawn out of nowhere. Or, you know, attack you from behind because he's kind of running around or the area. Okay, so I need to find something to open that. So we'll try to keep a lookout on it. But yeah, that fight wasn't really that bad. You know, I guess it's not supposed to be. I mean, if you're a regular player or no, someone who doesn't do this regular, obviously it can be dangerous, but... And I'll probably, I might end up dying for incompetence later on, who knows, but... Hmm, looks like you just dropped down. Interesting. I wonder if this is going to be like a... Oh, there's another... Okay, I should have known the final area was going to have, like, let us have, um... Um... Areas to, uh... Uh, yeah, see, this is one of the secret doors. You can kind of tell just because of the way it's, like, lined up. And obviously, most people online will mark the doors. But you'd be surprised how easy it is to notice those without it. And if the door doesn't open from from the way it's designed, there's probably a switch somewhere in the room or nearby that unlocks that door. Uh, which is usually just shown by as being just green little... Denied? Hmm. What do we have to find to open that? There's another 3D printer. There's two 3D printer types in the game. There's one that does like gun or weapons and guns and stuff like that, and then there's ones that um, um, that do the catalysts, which are called the cult stations. Uh, that was another. I don't see it. it. Doesn't seem like I'm. What are you? Oh, it's the coin was there, so you can find the coins. Yeah, a lot of people have put uh, notes there if you find for a coin or whatever. So, no, yeah, it's like a radiation area. So. Good thing I'm wearing this. Yeah, if I wasn't wearing this, I'd possibly get radiation damage. If radiation damage hits max, you take like either insta die or take like a ton of damage. I think you just, I think you take a ton of damage. But most of the times, it's so much damage that um, that you die from it. So, yeah, here's an indication of a switch that will open a secret area. Yeah, basically we found a, a gun, which I don't have. A, I don't have a foresight, so I can't. Uh, or uh, the other one, I, I can't open it because of that, so, oh well. Yep, so that Atelier keys is what we needed to open these doors. So now we can go back and open this one just to see what's in there. And I need to be on the lookout for, huh, there's, I guess this is where they printed everything because there's quite a few stations around here. Oh, hello. Uh, stated objective communicate with alternate realities for the purpose of synthetic replication. In a confined space, synchronize quantum vibrations to the signature of another specif specified reality. The experiment was success despite an unforeseen uh, overlapping effect with multiple realities. These results are in accordance to Dr. Joey's theory regarding the possibility of near-infinite computing power, expecting the ministry to move forward with the agenda. I think that's the people we, the union or ministry, which is who we talked to earlier. And it looks like uh, online's working because people are still playing this game after a year, so I guess that's good to know. I mean, I'm playing it after a year, so why not? Yep, another gun I can't use. Oh, well. Which, yeah, it kind of sucks. I kind of wish I'd made a, a build that kind of used maybe like a, uh, a gun just, just to have fun with it, but uh, oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, we need to keep on the lookout for um, uh, a couple people here, so hopefully... We'll run across them over the course of this area. Like I said, we might... I've heard this game... This area isn't very... What'd that do? Oh, it opened... Oh, it opened up the bridge. Okay. We'll roll them into the carpet and throw them off a bridge. <laughs> Man, this episode's gonna be longer than I expected. I think I took too long to deal with the bosses and everything like that. Yeah, that always happens to me. I always think, like, oh, I'll just do this, and I'll, that should cover about an hour. And then I end up, like, running way over that because I, I indicate, like, how long I do either I dick around or talk or whatever, so. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit darker in here. Dark, you say? Ooh, broken Eve outfit. Oh, is this where we can now... If uh, yeah, this game gives you... A, there's a few items that give you copies of. over the. It's almost like, you know, you could skip a good deal of the area and find what is necessary. Because that would allow me to go outside and go into space with that if I didn't find this set of armor I have or fix the other set I have. So, I guess thanks for giving me multiple ways to, like, get those items if I didn't find them by exploring. For those who don't like exploring, anyway. Although, that's one of the benefits of these games is... Usually there's a reason to explore, although this game specifically... Oh, there he is, the architect. 
This is the guy I was helping earlier, and the, the one the Union wanted us to corrupt and put to our side. You're here. I've been lost for longer than I can remember. I was frozen, facing a shadow. I was frozen. Seeing your eyes gives me a sliver of hope. How'd you get locked in here, dude? I don't know. There's no reason to wait any longer. I'm ready. Good. I'll jet the patch while the interface is busy with you. It's, pro it's protege. Just keep it busy long enough. I should be able to get the puncture operational within a few minutes. Let's go. So, uh, as you can tell, we're probably going to end up dealing with the architect um, at this point. Um, God, I don't know. I I feel like I, I hope I'm not messing the quest up by leaving and getting my uh, injectors back up before that. So, hmm. I'm just trying to decide if I want to encounter the boss now or or wait. Well, let's see what happens when we open the door, if it unlocks the final area or not. Yep, it looks like... Oh, is that not creepy at all? <laughs> I think as long as I talk to him, I think I've in indicated his final... Yeah, see, so you can tell that that's a final boss area. Look at that creepy thing right there. So, Okay, what I'm going to do before we fight him, I'm going to make sure I'm fully prepared for it. So off screen, I'm just going to... Basically, I'm just going to kill a bunch of like weak dudes and max out my health ejectors. I'm probably just going to go back back down the stairs, back to the embassy, and go to the first area of the game and just kill like a lot of random... Um, infected or whatever they're called and max this out to whatever I can at this moment so I'll see you back then for the finale of the game okay I'm back after doing a little bit of just a, a HP farming or whatever you want to call it where I didn't get it completely maxed out I think I can get to like 10 or whatever with my bonuses but uh, I think this is good enough although it'd be fine to do all this and then I die and it resets me back to 2 but now yeah, we'll see what happens so there's the author himself the man who the man who... Wait, am I supposed to actually jump to the final final thing? I don't want to turn this on for the rest of the, for our encounter because uh, this actually uses energy points, which I guess normally it doesn't matter, because but I will be... I'll probably be using the gun in the fight. Why does this look like a... like a sci-fi version of like a, a summoning circle or something like that, so... Ugh. At least I didn't die at that part. Wouldn't be surprised if I messed that up. That's happened so many times in this game. Hey, boss. How's it going, big old, like, he look like, I don't know, like a scorpion or something like that, or some creature that wouldn't be designed as is. But anyway, yeah, hey boss. Welcome, Spawn. It has been a long and difficult journey for you, I'm sure full of enriching realizations and improvements. Do you know that only 14% of you make, make it this far? What, there's more of me? I believe you do. What you know is incredibly valuable. Your service to the project is invaluable. As we speak, under your infinite of parallel versions of you are still hard at work to solve that problem. It's supposed to explain why, how the multiplayer works in this game, how you can go to other worlds and stuff like that. So the whole parallel universes is just like, I guess the idea that you can open up to parallel dimensions because the black hole or whatever. So all the other people playing the game are doing the same thing, that type of thing. This is forbidden knowledge, but we are quite acquainted now. You can rest. You have completed your duty in this world. Surely by now you have witnessed and understood the value of the ultimate sacrifice, the origin of our enterprises. You overcame fear. You are ready. I know. Good boy. Oh, we have so much left to talk about. But trust me, in the next state, we will be able to communicate on a level of bandwidth that you cannot conceive within this world. So it is time now. Come to me. Walk forward with courage. Okay, so here's the endings of the game. Yeah, it's kind of sad. I, it's left a choice. However, you, as far as I understand, you have to, like, do specific stuff to get some of these choices to unlock. Like, if you just do the story as is, it just does the surrender or don't surrender do, because obviously you learned a bit about the game, so you don't want to give them this much power. Uh, but it has been in a... Let's see. Not surrender data, so... It's been honored to serve. See you on the other side. So your data. Or I don't understand a single thing you say. What ultimate sacrifice? So you are the mass AI, but you said you were sick. I don't know about the in infinite other versions, but I'm taking you down. <laughs> I don't understand a single thing you say. What ultimate sacrifice? The atonement of a perfect specimen. 
Only a chosen few are burdened with a duty of reducing suffering for the living. If it was, wasn't was self-evident by now, you are one of those chosen few. A hero who will go down in history, empowered by the only justice. Who, what type of machine talks like that? I know you're confused, but I gave you life. You trust me. Of course you do. This isn't death, it is elevation. But time is of the essence, so now I need you to surrender yourself to us. Us. And then, yeah, you can still surrender the data or keep the data to get the true ending, or at least a different ending than what transpires when you keep the data. I understand. You are confused. After what you have been through, it is only normal to react with violence. <laughs> like every other game series or Dragon Ball Z reference or whatever. That's how we solve our problems. Violence! I mean, that's what you taught me, right? I had to kill people to survive this thing. Well, I shall indulge you. Most of you are resistant to the idea of sacrifice, but we forgive you. Now rise to the challenge. Spawn. Alright, for boss time against the author. I hope he has to get close to attack me. Let's see if he's to induction or not. Oh, oh, that's not a good start. Getting smacked by the, the claws of the claws of the author. Ugh. I wonder if I have to hit his hands or something. He can't suffer fire damage. Whoa. Okay. I didn't even know he uh he dropped a, a hole on him. Oh. Okay. So At least I know it's wild. Actually, it doesn't do that much damage, but... Oh, that hurt. <laughs> okay, he does do a lot of damage. Holy cow. Well, did you see me, um... Did you see me, um... Uh, flop around there? So, yeah. All that grinding for no reason. Yeah, I, I thought I might not have enough HP for this, but, uh... Oh, well. I guess I should have been using the rest of my levels for HP at this point. Because, you know, despite my... Despite my bravosness, I'm not, a not the best player of these types of games. Although I have beaten like um, all the Dark Souls games in uh, with wizard classes, which is like the th with the third game is almost impossible to do because of like how how resistant a lot of bosses are to magic. You know, it took me forever. It, that was actually my first build. I should have played a sword and board like you're supposed to. Yeah, now we're back down to two again. Boo! Oh, and there's my ghost. Yeah, I, I didn't even show up the ghost yet, so I might I might put on the sh shield maybe. Although, if that's the case, I might have to drop the, um, uh, <laughs> and of course, yeah, the ghost unfortunately causes some problems for you, because he's, he almost plays like a player would. Luckily, I can just go heat away right after I beat this guy, so. Yeah, I might sw swap in a shield, maybe, just to survive, uh, some of the, some of his, his heavy hits if I don't get to it enough, so. The only problem is that I need, to uh, I have to look at my weight capabilities before because the one I was using might be too heavy. The, the, uh, the heat shield. Oh, it's because I have the body module on. That's why it's not that heavy. Because uh, this one increases my carrying capacity. That's right. Uh, foresight, no. I was just saying, there's really not a whole lot of options for me in terms of like what I can equip. Uh, yeah, well, I you get energy from melee damage, but I don't really do enough of that anyway, so. Um, but yeah, if we quit the shield, I might be able to block more damage. Although, if you can if you can dodge, that's probably better to do. But it looked like I wasn't really doing... Uh, induction was doing, like, hardly any damage to him. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, I lost all that grinding, so, oh well. I kind of knew something like that was going to happen. I, I just had a, a, a feeling that we were... that that was going to occur. But I kind of, I was kind of hoping that would occur, happen, you know. I'll have to go back to the main spot after this one and make up for this this uh, person. The only problem with having a shield is on is like I tend to like get a little bit um, lax in my uh, combat because then I'm like, oh, I can just, I can just take the hit or whatever, you know. Now yeah, depending on how how. How much damage the architect does overall? Although he did do quite a bit of damage, there. I was actually kind of surprised, even with the the may or even with the defense and tenacity I've got. So, and unfortunately, I don't have enough. Uh, I hope I don't have to grind for. I, I think I'll just have to learn his attacks. And I guess you, the only thing I'm afraid of with because apparently he stays on the outside of the ring, 
is the dangerous part about him is that I hope I don't jump far enough to when I attack him that I that I fall off the uh, the ring basically. That's what I'm afraid of doing while while doing this. So yeah, it looked like my and the the gun was doing a little bit of damage, but mm, actually maybe I should have re-equipped it. It is doing damage, and really as long as I can dodge stuff. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a, a, the architect. Yeah. yeah, let's try that again. I don't know. Maybe I was. I mean, I got to do use of my energy for something. I'm like the sword ability that you can that you can use or that you have won't really do anything. It won't be effective against this. Where's my souls? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, oh. So you can target like his hands and stuff like that, which is good. Oh, his arm arm's gonna get deducted. Maybe it depends on the Huh. Okay. I'm glad I <laughs> really blasted me. Probably why you should. And my healing it does like heal so much that it's just like I can. I have to make sure to actually attack every once in a while, otherwise I won't. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Luckily, with this armor, it has induction resistance, so I'm not getting completely hosed with the. Uh... The game gives you ways to like protect against the. Uh... I guess I just got supremely unlucky with that. Uh, with that. With his uh, double hand attack or whatever you want to call it. Oh, I can shoot through the. Uh... Oh no no! Shoot. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I was about actually going to heal, but I kept pressing other buttons to uh, to not do that. So okay. So when I die, I'm just gonna uh, take myself back to back to the fight, so we don't take forever. So this will there will be a bit of editing in this, so that way you're not seeing me run all the way back every time I I die. So yeah, it looks like I could beat it pretty easily. I was just being dumb there. So <laughs> after after all that like bravose about beating those gods pretty easily for the most part, and here I am like, well, I mean, he's the last boss, so he's got to give you some trouble. So anyway, I'll see you back at the boss uh, encounter room. Um, here in a second. So, yeah, every time I die, if I die again in the future, I'm just gonna cut to the next a uh, try after that. So, all right, try number three. So, but yeah, now I, I just I was just being dumb that one time. So hopefully this will be a bit more of a yeah. The, the induction damage. I'm kind of surprised that he even suffered from that. Frankly, you would think he would. Uh, um, he would be resistant to that, you know, being being a machine fire. You think he would have like some natural like re protection against that? It looks like as long as I'm moving, I can kind of reduce a lot of the damage. Whoa! Um, as long as he doesn't do that like double hand claw thing that he did to me the first time I fought him. And that should. But yeah, see if he does that, that might do. That's what killed me last time. Heal again, even though I can, even though doing this like completely heals me. Uh, ow. <laughs> oh man, I forgot that there's no invincibility spheres in this game, so you can't like. And I need to have, I need to have, I may make sure not to use all my like healing resources just because. Of, uh... Yeah, I'm, just, I'm surprised like, that he can suffer from reduction. Oh. He's almost burning to death. Hate this architect. You were never my real. You're not my real dad. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Whew. I thought I, I thought I got knocked off there for a second. I was like, no. Yeah, you don't get invincibility spears, so yeah. See, I, I couldn't protect against uh, that. What's this? 
if you beat the game and defeat, decide to just keep the data, it goes, it does the credits after that. Same with the surrender data, it goes straight to the credit. Well, I don't know if it goes straight, it's uh, some minor scenes, but in this case, we have uh, we have something different occur. So yeah, let's go inside and see see what uh see what this has. Travel outside space and time, huh? Hold on. Um, I can't get back either, so I can't. I only got one heal thing left. Well, we'll find out what happens, I guess. All right, what does space and time have to see? Let's find out for the final boss of the game. Yeah, if you do the true, if you do, if you do the true ending, then the architect is not, or the author is not the final boss. Ugh, where are we? Space and time, and everything's irre irrelevant. What the? Of course, there had to be some kind of godlike, weird terrestrial, uh, not interterrestrial creature, or some weird origin. Looks like a Fall Fantasy boss. Hmm. What the? And now you see. Beyond the plains of existence lies the tower, true creation. With a few words, we can conjure the universe. Or consume them all the same. Ah, what the heck is he doing? I have to fight two guys for this boss fight, by the way. I have to fight the prodigal spawn, or whatever his name is. Um, and uh, the boss there. So this might be tough because... I don't have as much healing for this one. I think if I lose, I don't have to fight the author again, though, so... Man, talk about, like, having to... Look at that! Look at all that damage that's occurring to me, like... I just have to be careful about, like, well, fighting this guy. Wow, I'm not doing any damage to this guy at all. I wonder if he can... Uh, we should get subduction. I just have to... Yeah, this fight's a bit... It's, I've probably got to redo this fight a couple of times. Just to, I've heard this fight's actually kind of tough. Um... Uh, from most players. Yeah, I see. But I got no healing at all. Like, and obviously, with all the damage that, that, uh, because you're fighting, like, him and then whatever the creature is. Um, I think it's called, like, the Sentinel or something like that. I've heard that there's a glitch for this final ending that if you, if you, oh, okay. Um, if you defeat the Prodigal, if you defeat the Sentinel before the Prodigal, it, like, messes up the ending or something like that. So, I don't know, but yeah, this guy does like all this crazy damage, so I can't stay put either. I just have to kind of hit him with it. Yeah, he's also got a shield too, so you're basically fighting another version of the player or something like that, so that's kind of annoying. Yeah, it looks like he might be strong against uh, Induction. Yeah, he's so good. yeah, the problem is you just have to, you have to Pay attention to the environment. And I think the suit is helping me, like, with some of the damage. Because I think he's hit, like, I think he's... Whoa! Holy cow! Why did that do so much damage? Like, he only shot me with some rays. Yeah. Yeah, him doing uh, that shield thing is definitely not helping. Man, I just... This is definitely going to be a tough one. I just had to be on my toes. My toes! My toes! Now, unfortunately, there's not, like, an item you can get that, like, improves your, um, um, like, blood gathering, or as far as I'm aware of, anyway. Yeah, it's definitely a fight where you have to... See, what killed me? Like, all of a sudden, I took damage. Did he, like, reflect an ability on me or something? But anyway, I'll s well, actually, we respawn like right back at the boss. So I don't. I guess I don't really have to do any cutting. The only problem is that I can't. Um, there's really this. The being here doesn't give me a chance to. Uh, oh, and it goes straight to the boss. So like, you don't even get a chance to. Um, you don't even get a chance to. Uh, um, like, take a second to like prepare for the boss. You just have to fight him. Uh, I can see why people don't like uh, don't like this boss. I've I've heard some people had some issue with the the true boss. I wonder maybe I should have maybe this is one of those where you play it um, play the game on New Game Plus, but his stats would be improved in that version though, so you know. Man, now I feel like I wish I'd uh uh I wonder if you quit the game. I bet if you quit the game you have to beat the architect again or the author again. Um 
Because I doubt the game would like, if you quit the game, I doubt it would like um, uh, pop you back up here. Ah, oh, man, I keep falling for the attacks. <laughs> See, look at that. Like, I, I... <laughs> wow, and I'm like hardly doing any damage to this guy at all. Like, It doesn't help that this is like completely at night, so I can't, or it's completely dark here, so I can't see anything. Actually, do I even need to get, the, at this point, do I even need to get the axioms, really? Actually, with the, with the, with the uh, no, the light source doesn't help at all. Yeah, see, I'm like, like, all the other bosses, I was doing okay, like, I was still doing, like, decent damage, all this other stuff. But man, I'm like, I'm, I've hardly uh, chipped at this guy's life force at all. Uh, the reason this occurs is you, basically he was also supposed to be uh, something similar to what the author was designed, but he also wanted to break his programming, but you have a sense that maybe he wanted to gain the power of the the author or whatever you want to call it from like the, um, the was it Hell, Hell Idol or whatever it was? I don't know all the details, obviously, but yeah, this one I might have to just do a... Um, I might just do have to do a cut to when I actually beat the beat the boss. Either that or off screen try to find a way to like grind on my like health. Yeah, see I'm not like hardly doing any damage to Yeah, the problem is is you're fighting two fronts, and that makes it that definitely makes it a a challenge. And I can barely see the problem is, is I can barely see this guy. I like have to like get like right up on my like TV to even see him. And I'm not doing enough damage with my uh, with my weapon to like I'm not earning enough blood, whatever you want to call it, or health injectors for that. So. strategy is definitely not working here. I mean I think I can beat this guy it's just it just might take me a while to like really figure out what the control or fit, figure out the battle mechanics and everything and, and obviously figure out ways to avoid the uh, the boss's blast and everything like that so. and I wish I just put like ignore like the the catalyst completely. It's just, it's just him, like, oh man. Now I don't have any health. And I'm not hurting enough from this guy at all. Yeah, that ran into in there, so. Well, I'll do it a couple more times. I don't want this video to be like five hours long or whatever. Um, I should have known that the final true boss would get me a bit of trouble. I, didn't, I wasn't that. Yeah, you know, I was making fun of how the game was kind of easy, and then I then we get to the final boss, and he starts kicking my ass. <laughs> uh, that's what I get for my hubris. I mean, you probably think, oh, I should just attack this. I just heard that there's a. I mean, maybe they fixed the glitch. I just heard attacking the sentinel uh, messes up the 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 final bit or whatever. So that's all. Oh, man, and the fact I can't like over my equipment again without like quitting the area or something like that. Ugh, I didn't even heal that time. I was just trying to it, it's probably gonna be one of those cases where I start I start doing worse over time until I like get to it. Yeah this this definitely this fight has a lot of issues. One being double teamed by two people. Three I can barely see anything so like I'm I'm, I'm suffering from like you know um, uh, just the vision problems, and then you know, God, he just does so much damage. Like, and I have a decent protection. Like the the armor set I'm wearing has a good decent defenses on him too. So I have to think what it's like if you use like weaker armor. And see, even when I attack him, I feel like I'm not even doing damage. You know? Yeah. See, you can't you can't uh, like my usual tactic of. Uh, What's the word? Not browbeating, but uh, where you can kind of break through their defenses and keep smacking them won't actually work here. 
And the only way to get um, healing back is by hitting this guy because uh, it doesn't heal naturally. That's pro that's that's probably one of the flaw. Well, I don't know if I'd say flaw, but that's definitely one of the challenges of the game is the is you can't heal unless you attack. But like in this situation, there's no way to go back unless you quit the game and probably re re challenge the architect or author again. I don't know, maybe... Actually, can I even attack the... Okay, I can't. Maybe the way to do this is to just take out, like, not completely kill him, but, like, destroy some of his, uh, uh, protections or something like that, you know? I just can't completely kill this guy, that's all. some of this stuff like that way I'm not oh no. see like he does like crazy things that I'm like like he just like sucks my life force out <laughs> uh, I can't get enough of the the ragdoll like where you're like <laughs> just jumping all over the all over the place so okay
And that's to the end of Hellpoint. So I guess at the end, yeah, I didn't have to... Uh, I guess I must have fixed that glitch when I read on it, but that was quite a long time ago. So, okay, so just go after the Sentinel first. And after I figured that out, like, you could... I mean, obviously, I'm going to cut to my successful run, but uh, it got a little bit easier now that I wasn't trying to destroy those little rings around him uh, or fight the guy. It was just go after him, you know, and do it. I guess I shouldn't have let my biases of reading some of the glitches in the game deter me from doing what I would have normally done. I think if I had normally done without playing that, I probably would have gone after the big guy first and avoid the little guy uh, because he was the biggest threat. But, uh, um, okay, this was like Euro Eastern European, uh, maybe Polish. I'm not, I don't recognize the names, but I thought the concept and the voices I thought was like either Russian or some, I mean, I'm not sure if that's what they are, but a lot of these names indicate that they're at least Eastern European. Um, that worked on the game anyway, so. All right, well, Hellpoint. Um, uh, other than uh, other than some, other than some like, glitches and stuff like that, overall, I thought it was a pretty solid game. I mean, like I said, there were some issues with it. Like like I said, the platforming is a bit wonky at times. Um, the AI script is a bit aggressively stupid. Um, some of the quests not um, uh playing right and all this other stuff um, but overall I thought the design of the game I thought the game had a great atmosphere especially with the music there and some of the soundtracks you could get over the course of the game for your cube you could listen to creepy music while playing um, I thought a lot of the character designs were other than obviously the, the basic you know those infected or whatever they were um, some of the other creatures were, were cool you know the demons or the or the corrupted machines um, stuff like that um, I would say about half the bosses were interesting because some of the bo early bosses you fight in the game end up becoming regular encounters later on, which I guess Dark Souls did kind of do something like that, so I guess that's not... I guess they were just taken from that book that these hard versions of them and then you end up having to fight them regularly. Obviously, they're toned down from their from their boss counterparts. Um, I'm trying to think what else about the game. Um, I mean, because even though the a lot of the glitches I encountered, it, the game still played well for the most part, other than those platforming. There was quite a bit of platforming, too, so, sorry, excuse me. So if you didn't figure out the platforming or figure out how to, like, stop on a dime or something like that, because there's a lot of times where I fell off from running jumping. Apparently, if you run jump and then jump on somewhere else, you skid a bit, even though there was ice or anything like that. That was kind of annoying. I died a few times of that. Or trying to do, like, a slight jump from a next location to the next, I found myself dying. Um, and then some of the secrets that required you to do crazy jumps to get to those secrets if the platforming doesn't work properly then those become a very huge annoyance so yeah this what game was kickstarted um, so I'm glad uh, I'm glad some people put some money to a game that actually came out because kickstarter over the years has indicated like at least when it comes to games like I swear like 75% of the projects fall flat they either didn't know how to spend the money or they just ran away or they ran away with it at the end so at least it's lucky that these people put money into a game that actually ended up coming out um so there's that at least so it was like some small studio with just some people putting their money where their mouth was i guess um yeah too bad there's not much to the ending you kind of just even the true ending it looks like you kind of beat the creature and i guess become the power i guess you become god i guess i it, and then the guy who wanted to become the prodigal spawn ends up like, oh, or whatever, and then dies or whatever. So I assume that's what happens. <laughs> but yeah, that's the sad... Actually, even in the Dark Souls games, the endings are kind of just... They just happen within the snap, so it's kind of... I'd say that's kind of disappointing. Um, but I'm not expecting some, like, huge ending where, like, all this stuff occurs. It's just it's kind of sad how, like, you go through this whole game and then the ending only takes, like... Like, the, the ending scene is, only takes, like, a few seconds, and it's like, oh, okay. So, but yeah, uh, after we beat it, we reset back to New Game Plus mode and start the game all over again. But we've already gotten the true ending. So I guess if you want to redo it, you could get the, uh, just skip, uh, just, uh, you know, skip everyone and go straight to the, the god bosses or find a way to get to those, beat them, and then get the architect to get, or author again and show off the, uh, um, the surrender or surrender, or not surrender ending, but don't complete the other quest lines to do that, so... Well, well, it appears it's just us now. You should accept the redundancies of the so-called parallel universe too. It's much easier that way. Actually, I haven't forgotten who's talking here. Perhaps you will develop interests similar to mine over time. I will try to be, be good company. 
You were born here. After all, just like me, it is only natural that we should live here. Don't worry. No one will ever know your secret. This is your realm now. Farewell. And then we get a lot of Axiom, and then we can play the game all over again. To the fringe. Back to the fight. Again, after all this time. So, but yeah, it's just a ever... I guess they did talk about Parallel Worlds, so, you know, you could keep... Uh, either surrendering or defeating the architect until you get bored of it, I guess. So, anyway, that's it for Hellpoint. Um, I know this video is a lot longer. I'll probably end up like trimming some of it down somewhere down the line to make it a bit more um, appetizable as a video instead of it being like two hours or however long I have it on my clock right now. So, um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope it, if watching this gave you a decision to either buy the game for yourself or save you some money and stay away from it. So, uh, overall, I think. <sighs> It's hard to say. I, I think I, I do like Dark Souls like games a lot. Uh, just overall, like what they add in terms of like, you know, combat, difficulty, and exploration and stuff like that. I, I think this is a game worth adding to your library. It's just it, it's hard to dictate that just because there's still so many little glitches in the game that kind of almost ruin certain instances for me. So eh, take with that as you will. I didn't really even show you the multitude of other issues I had with the a gamer over the course of playing it so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next game